Hey there, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. All right, with this video, I wanted to go over with you guys how important it is to keep your eyes on Christ. All right, how important it is to keep your eyes on Yeshua, keep your eyes on God, keep your eyes on the things of heaven, and always be heavily minded. This is like a day-to-day -day basis, a day-to-day -day struggle that you must abide that's why he says to abide in him. All right, I'm going to give you a, a personal experience that happened to me last night as I was going to bed. All right, last night as I was going to bed, I'm, my mind is usually always focused on Christ, like praying and thanking him for a lot of things and just meditating on him, you know. But last night, while I was thanking him and meditating on him, my mind drifted off into worldly things. Okay? My mind drifted off into worldly things. And after that, I began, I started falling asleep. I started getting sleepy and falling asleep. But then while that happened, it's like I felt like a um, a force. It wasn't a pleasant force. Like some type of uh, uh, evil spirit around me. And mind you, like I said, I was attempting to fall asleep. But I couldn't go to sleep. I was like tossing and turning. It's like, I don't know what it was. But I knew I could feel it. And it wasn't something that was good. And I just kept thinking to myself, well, what's wrong with me? Why can't I? fall asleep, why is my mind just going off? And it was nothing, it was, it's nothing that I ever felt before. And it was like, I was almost being taunted. Like I was almost, I wouldn't say tormented. Tormented is like when you're like screaming and all this other crazy stuff. It wasn't that. But I felt a force that was not pleasant. All right, and as I woke up, I knew, no, before I even woke up the next day, I already knew what it was, because in the midst of feeling that, it's like I opened my mind, okay, I opened myself, because of my mind thinking in the worldly realm, all right? So once I felt that, I already knew what to do. I already knew what to do. So in the midst of that, I shook myself. And I started calling on Yeshua. I mean, I was up. It wasn't like a, a sleep paralysis or whatnot. I was up because I couldn't sleep. It was a tossing and turning like someone was trying to taunt me, you know, trying to get to me. So I was calling on Yeshua. I just kept calling his name, calling his name, expecting him to answer me, and I knew he would answer me. And I said, I'm not going to stop calling him to come and help me until he answers me. So I was calling on his name. I began to glorify his name. I began to acknowledge the things that I know about him, and I know and things that I know about heaven, the things that I know about God the Father. I basically began to just confirm that I know all these things. And I was saying these things in my mind and also out loud. Like, for example, I would say, Yeshua, you are king. You are the king who sits upon your throne. You put your enemies beneath your feet. God the Father, you created the heavens and earth. No one can stop you. I just was confessing all these things. And as I was doing that, it probably was a good 10, 15 minutes. Good 10, 15 minutes that I was doing that. And after that, I felt this force or this pressure that was basically taunting me. It left. It left, and I began to feel normal again. I mean, it wasn't something that was just... It wasn't something that was just in my head. I literally said that because when, when it first began, I was wondering what was that, what was going on, you know what I mean? But I already medically knew it. Now I'm seeing 
because of my mind, it slipped to worldliness for a, but a brief moment. With that, it caused, I basically opened the door. I basically opened the gate for an enemy to, he couldn't do whatever. He started to. But then, right then, at that moment, I didn't wait no longer. Because if I didn't do anything, I would not have gotten sleep. And it would have been worse. Whatever they, whatever it, they, whatever spirit was, spirit was trying to do to me, I didn't allow it to keep going. That's when I called on my Savior. That's when I called on the Lord. And I kept calling him. I said, I'm going to keep calling him until he gets to me. Until he comes. And he came. Because after that, I didn't feel anything. Yeshua gave me peace. He gave me comfort. And I went back to sleep. And when I went to sleep, I slept really well. I slept really good. And I knew it was the Lord. I knew it was the Lord. This is a testimony. This happened last night. And I wanted to let y'all know how serious it was. And the Lord allowed me to see it too. He allowed me to see it too. It's like when I wipe, when you take your eyes, it could be a split moment. Split moment, right when you take your eyes off the Lord. Then you begin to see. And the, and the demons, Satan, would be more than happy. He would love it for anyone who's following Yeshua closely to take their minds off of him for a split second and to think about things of the world. They would love to devour you. Love it, love it, love it. That's why right when that happened, and you realize that that is happening, it can also be a test. It can also be a test. Yeshua is waiting for to see what you're going to do. Are you going to allow that enemy to keep taunting you? All right. Are you going to allow that enemy to keep taunting you? Or are you going to call on his thing? Because you know he's the king of kings. And the Lord's the Lord. Alright, so I wanted to share that personal testimony with you all. And it just taught me a lesson. A quick lesson to always keep my mind on Yeshua. Last thing before I go to sleep, keep my mind on him. Whatever worldly things, repent. Seek the Lord and always be heavenly minded. Always be heavenly minded. And it just remind me of the scripture. When he say, come to me, those of you who are weary and heavy burden, and I will give you rest for your souls. Something just did not allow me to go to sleep. All right. So I called on him and he came. And after that, I tell you not, I went to sleep. I slept really good. I slept really good. I woke up thanking him, thanking him, thanking him, thanking him for being there for me, you know, and just helping me. And know that when you go to sleep and you wake up and you see that you're up, you see that you have a sound mind, you see that your mind is not crazy. There's some people in this world, they say to them, they tell people that they are tormented. These are people who don't believe. They feel this torment. They feel these voices yelling at them, screaming at them. Yet the thing is, they're seeing these things and these things are true, but they don't call on the Lord because they're ignorant to the things of God. They think it's funny. They think it's a joke. But it's not a joke. This stuff is for real. And to the point where they are ignorant of the things of, the things of God, of the things of Christ. Christ told everyone, he said, come to me all all you who are weary and heavy laden. He's talking to the non-believers too. But they don't want to come. You don't want to come. You don't want to call on him. Yes, the enemy, the demons, the spirits, they'll do whatever they want. They'll torment you. You don't do anything. Then they'll start to scream at you. In your head, people think you're crazy. You're not crazy. Because you refuse to call on Christ who is your defender, who is your savior, who is your messiah. That's what he's there for. You refuse to call on him. So you refuse to call on him then the enemy will come. The enemy will come and do whatever he wants with you. 
But at this moment, I already knew what time it was. I already knew what I had to do. Like I said, I just kept calling on my Messiah. I just kept calling on my Yeshua. And as scriptures say, he did exactly what he told us he would do. He said, come to me. You're weary? I was weary. He said, come to me. I called on him. He said, I will give you rest for your souls. Rest. He defeated my enemies. That's more than rest. That's thank you, Yeshua. Something that I could, I could never do. I can't defeat these evil spirits. I can't defeat these demons. And nor can anyone in this world but Yeshua. These are evil spirits. It's like he said, you don't fight with flesh and blood. It's not flesh and blood. People that you're fighting with, that you're mad at. He said, these are evil spirits. Powerful forces in the heavenly realm. You can't fight them, but Yeshua can. I call on his name. It's like they were terrified. It's like they were terrified because it, it just left. It's left. It, was in, it wasn't in my mind. I know it wasn't. It wasn't in my mind because my mind went to worldliness and after that I didn't think nothing of it. And I went to sleep. Or well, I attempted to go to sleep. But something didn't allow me to go to sleep because I entertained it by taking my mind off, the, off of God and heavenly things. Alright. I thought I just want I just want to put this out there. For those keep your mind on Christ. Keep your mind on God, for when you take your mind off and you begin to focus on the worldly things, oh yeah, you open a door. You open a door, but just know, no matter what, Christ, Yeshua, God, they got your back. They have your back. One team, that's what it is. You just have to call on him. All right, my brothers and sisters, in Yeshua, y'all take care.